Hello everybody, I'm John, this is JP Strategic Investments, and today we're going to talk about the announcement from Patriot One Technologies that they've updated and improved their AI platform, and what I think that is going to do for the company and the stock going forward. Before we get into that though, I do want to touch on the NCS4 evaluations. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about this recently, there's been some confusion. Um, if you are a Patriot One investor and you are not already in some of the uh, Facebook investor groups and things like that, I definitely recommend checking that out. There's two posts on there, one from Daniel um, and one from Bill. Uh, they may be on two different groups, but they really kind of clarify exactly what is going on with this NCS4 evaluation and things like that. It's not a direct comparison of Evolve and Patriot One. They're being evaluated separately and they're being evaluated based on their own standards for their products. Uh, it will still allow us, based on the results that we see, to kind of compare some of the things, but it's not a true just one-on-one -on -one comparison. So just check those posts out if you haven't already. Um, that'll kind of explain exactly what is going on with uh, that evaluation, and we'll definitely take a look at those numbers and, and results when they come out. Now, that being said, let's jump into what we have here uh, so Patriot One Technologies introduces facility insights, enabling venue operators to make data-driven decisions with actionable intelligence. Um, so if we go and scroll down here, um, this is kind of just a basic overview of what's going on, and then they get into some more specific capabilities uh, of the improvements here. So the first one that we have here is facility reporting. And this enables, um, as it says here, venue operators to monitor ingress. So basically, the main thing that we're getting here is kind of the ability to uh, track and uh, make decisions based on the actual traffic flows of different people going into the venue, working around different areas within the venue, right? So if there's lines at concession stands or entrances or things like that, if one line is getting long, you know, why is that line getting long and the other ones aren't? You know, how can we deploy personnel or maybe adjust uh, different things within our security platform to account for that and to make sure that you know we get a nice smooth entrance into the stadium and then within the stadium you know we have our concession lines and things like that how do we make sure that all of those are situated where they should be is there any improvements that we make based on the traffic flow analysis that we see now that we can even improve those further so that's what this is allowing them to do the other thing here is, and I'll get to that, that back to that image in a second, uh, facility insights. Um, and so this is a similar thing, seems to be uh, more of the analytics of what's going on with the, uh, the earlier one, which again was facility reporting. Um, so facility insights seems like it takes all of that data and kind of works it into a few different graphs, where, which then allows basically the facility operators to kind of better analyze what exactly is going on with their stadium and how they can improve it. Um, and one of the big things that I thought was interesting on here and that, that I think could be really helpful is they're going to have superimposed hotspots on a venue map that will alert operators um, where there could be disruptions or longer wait times than normal. So if you have, uh, basically what they'll have is, is kind of a digital map, right, a top-down view probably, that basically allows you to say, okay, a, a notification pops up, hotspot right here, there's a disruption or there's uh, a long line, you can immediately kind of go to that camera, check out what's going on and see what you need to do to um, remedy the situation, if you will, right? Um, and then the last one here, customizable alerting. So basically this seems to be giving uh, venue operators not only the ability to kind of tailor the level of sensitivity that the MSG and, and VRS are detecting at, right? Or is, is this a very high priority event? We don't want like anything coming in, in that could be of any danger, or is this maybe an event that we're maybe not quite as worried about security events? And it also gives them the ability to prioritize different alerts from different areas. So that could potentially be helpful if, you know, within maybe one entrance, you have a player's entrance or a VIP entrance where you're really not that worried about maybe those people, they've already been vetted and things like that. You're not worried about those people bringing in things. And maybe they're also bringing in things that could set off more false positives than a normal fan coming into the stadium. 
you could set those at a lower priority or a lower um, you know sensitivity and then you could tailor you know the actual main entrances for fans and things like that to a higher sensitivity because you know those are the people do, that are just walking in that you don't know you haven't personally vetted and things like that so that's definitely a nice addition as well now i want to talk about two reasons that i think that this is really good for patriot one the first reason is that it shows that they're continuing to work directly with professional sports organizations and tailor improvements specifically to meet their needs right we want to continue to see them to be working with talking you know evaluating how their particular capabilities of their technology is meeting the needs of these leagues specifically right and we know that if they continue to do that then their products are going to be better and better fits for these leagues so that is a really good thing and it's only going to lead to more sales in professional sports and the second reason i think this is really good for patriot one is that it incentivizes customers to go with vrs as well as msg a lot of these sports stadiums they're just starting out with the msg platform right what they really care about right up front is people coming into the stadium and making sure that those people don't have any weapons on them or anything that they don't want in the stadium. But if you can show customers all of the other things that they could get and the increased value that they could get to their venue, if you add on VRS, which again, you don't have to do anything else with your cameras. The software is just added on top of it, right? It's just an AI that's laid over your current security camera system much easier to swap out and deploy than the MSG. If you can show that added value through different things like that, you increase your ability to be able to upsell VRS to these customers who you've already sold MSG to. And I think that could be a huge addition because those customers, it's a much lower cost of acquisition, right? Because when we're, when we're talking about cost of acquisition, we're talking about, you know, the marketing costs and the costs of going and meeting with these customers, the cost to actually acquire that customer as a paying customer. With VRS, if you're upselling that to somebody who already has MSG, the customer acquisition costs are much, much lower. If you can show them that extra value, get that upsell, that's a lot more value that that customer is now bringing to your company, right? And so I think that is probably even the main reason that this is a good thing for Patriot One because it's going to kind of streamline the addition or adoption of VRS to customers who already have the MSG platform. So those are the two main takeaways that I am getting from this announcement. Let me know in the comments below if you think there's any other things that I'm missing. Other than that, I will see you guys next time and have a great day.